Good morning, everyone. We are here after the surge of tornadoes across Alabama, Mississippi, and the southern region. And I want to say thank you, God, for taking care of us. There's so many prayers going up. I know myself consistently praying throughout this for just a cocoon coverage over everyone. And I believe we had anywhere from 19 to 20 tornadoes in Alabama. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. I may have lost count at some point. But so far, as far as I know, unless that's changed recently, there have been no deaths reported. So in the face of massive destruction, violent weather, and the potential for so many deaths and so much damage, I feel that we've basically come out unscathed and that was my prayer now that is not to discount the people who have lost properties or the people who have damage to their homes I know right now at this moment maybe they don't feel as grateful as I do um, the pillows in my hammock didn't even come out even in the midst of the storm and I am just overcome with gratitude and appreciation for how wonderful our God is and just how powerful He is. I literally, in the midst of the storms, felt like, just as I had asked, that He had literally just cupped His hands over our home and my family. That's just the way I felt. At one point, um, we thought everything was fine, and then all of a sudden, sirens started going off, and um, they say, hey, there's a rotation circulation I mean literally just a couple of miles from my house heading straight towards my home and of course we went to our closet which was the only safe place that we had and I immediately just started praying God and it's like I could almost just see his hands just come up and cover us and within moments after that prayer they announced we don't see any tornadoes in this rotation we don't we don't know what happened we don't know where it went but it's gone same thing happened um in mississippi they announced there was a tornado right there in the um city where my sister lives in and i know that they're in a mobile home where they really didn't have any other place to go and prayers again and i know lots of people were praying during this time so it's not just my prayer but with all the people praying and they're announcing on the news there's a tornado the rotation is right there and then they're just like what happened it's gone the point of all this is that we serve a mighty mighty God and I think sometimes he needs to remind us of that and there's something that was in a uh, devotional book that I picked up uh, when I was straightening the table and uh, the title of it was in sunshine and storm I think sometimes we forget to praise God and honor God during the storm we all want that immediate gratification we all want that immediate happiness we all think that being a Christian means we just bask in glory every moment of the day and that's not always true there are troubles and trials and there are reasons for these things these things strengthen us they create endurance in us and this devotional was about Job and how he endured for a reward at the end and hold on my dogs are barking let me see what they're doing okay I try to get the dogs I can't guarantee they won't continue barking they seem to always bark when I'm trying to record something uh, yeah, I think it's impossible. I think people are carrying their garbage down to the road. The dogs are not going to shut up. So, um, Ecclesiastes 7:14. When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about their future. So, God wants us to rejoice when times are bad. And also when times are good. He's made every day. And we're called to be happy no matter what. Now there's two kinds of people out there this morning. 
after the storms. There are those who are down on their knees thanking God that their family is alive, thanking God that they were not harmed. Maybe their shed is torn up. Maybe those shingles are gone from their roof, but they haven't been harmed. Their pets are alive. Their children are alive. Their family is still intact. And then there's those other people who are also still alive. Their families are still together and they're cursing God for letting the tornado appear to begin with. Can you see where sometimes the troubles and trials are just a test? Like with Job, it's just a test. God is just trying to see who's really faithful to him and who really trusts him and believes in him and praises him, bad or good. Love is supposed to be unconditional. You don't only love God when things are going your way. And so look at it that way. Sometimes these are just little small tests. The troubles and trials of life show God who you really are. Do you want to be the one who's thanking him this morning for sparing your life and your children's life? Or do you want to be the one cussing him because some shingles are missing off your shed? And that's our thought for today.